Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Nishita. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. On my channel, you will find a lot of product reviews, uh, like mainly foundation reviews, and get ready with me and makeup tutorials. Sometimes I also review skincare. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. So in today's video, I'm going to review a new concealer from Hourglass. Uh, what is this called? Uh, I've got to look at the packaging. So this is the outer packaging. It's called, yeah, Vanish Airbrush Concealer. So I picked up two shades. One is uh, the shade Dune and the other one is the shade Beach. Uh, they have only 22 shades. Uh, you know, the shade range could be better because, you know, the shade next to this is way too dark. And the shade uh, before this, I feel like it doesn't have the right undertone. So, you know, I got these two shades so I can mix them and get a shade that matches my under eyes. You know, this is a very expensive brand. So it obviously hurt my wallet buying two shades. But I just want to like, you know, do a review for you guys. That's the problem. Like if it's a drugstore brand, I wouldn't mind getting two shades of my concealer. But with high end products, since they're very expensive, I usually hope that one color would do the job. But unfortunately, with this range, I did have to pick up two shades. Let me swatch these for you guys. The first First shade, the lighter one is beach. So this is how the color looks like. As you can tell, like it's few shades lighter than my skin tone. So on its own, if I use it like closer to my under eyes where I have some darkness, it will turn very ashy. I mainly got this to highlight parts of my face and also like you know something to mix with this shade. This one is the June, the darker one that I got. Closer my under eyes, this would do a really good job covering the darkness because of the shade. Uh, but you know, I cannot use it here to highlight parts of my face. So for that, I'm going to mainly use this particular shade. I'll zoom you guys in now so you can see up close how this concealer is looking underneath my eyes. Once I'm done applying, I will wear it for the rest of my day. And when I get back, I'll share my final thoughts with you all. So let's zoom you guys in now. First, I'm going to go in with the shade Dune. I'm going to blend it using my uh, beauty blender. Once I'm done concealing the darkness, then I'll go with the lighter shade and highlight uh, in this area. So I usually like to apply concealer in the areas where I have darkness. Once I'm done blending it out, I'll bring whatever is left underneath the eyes directly. I don't believe in doing that big triangle that other beauty gurus do. I feel like it just looks cakey and not practical in real life unless you have, you know, very smooth skin and you have fillers underneath. I feel like this is the best way to apply concealer, at least for me personally. So that is actually a really good amount of coverage. It covered like all the darkness that I have here and here really well. So I have deep set eyes, so you might see some kind of shadow in here. But I feel like the concealer itself has covered like, you know, any pigmentation that I have really well. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Beach and just apply it here mainly. This is like a great technique uh, if you have really dark under eyes. Uh, I would say take a shade that is, you know, slightly deeper uh, than your skin tone. Preferably having like, you know, a little bit of orange uh, undertone to it. So that will, you know, counteract or, you know, cancel out any darkness you have. And then when you want to highlight your skin, then go in with a concealer that is few shades lighter than your skin tone. If you directly go in with a concealer, uh, that is uh, lighter than your skin tone, especially in the areas where you have darkness, it will turn ashy and will make your under eyes look even more dull. Beats the whole purpose of wearing a concealer. So I feel like it is giving me a really good coverage. I wouldn't say it has high as start shape tape. Uh, but you know, it's almost full coverage. Uh, it did cover all of my darkness really well. Uh, if you have extreme under eye circles, I don't know if this will be enough to cover all of the darkness you have. Uh, you probably might want to use a color corrector underneath in that uh, scenario. 
But for me personally, I think the coverage is like really good. So I think I've zoomed in as much as I can so you can see how it looks underneath my eyes. So far, uh, I wouldn't say it feels like, you know, very hydrating, but at the same time, it's not drying out my under eyes. If you have dry under eyes, I don't know how you'll feel about this. So I'm going to use the shade Dune and mix a little bit of shade Beach as well, but mostly Dune and then use the combination to do some spot concealing. I love a good concealer for underneath my eyes, but for day to day purpose, I need a concealer to do well with spot concealing. Like, you know, that's my main purpose of using a concealer. I feel like no matter how much concealer I use, this, you know, shadow here, it's not getting covered. But you can see that the, you know, blemish that I had on this side, it was able to cover it really well. I feel like uh, in situations like these, like especially for spot concealing, my Tarte Shape Tape does a lot better job. So that's one of the reasons why I love it. It's like, Best for spot concealing, like once you put it there, it's going to set and not move throughout the day. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, I'll set my under eyes just on the side of my face with a powder to see how this concealer works with the powder. On the other side, I'm not going to apply any powder just to see how the concealer performs on its own. Uh, you know, if it creases pretty bad throughout the day or if it stays really good even without the help of a powder. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is in the shade medium. And just, you know, tap out any creases. And then go on. I feel like the powder did take away the shine a little bit. It's not too bad. Even the concealer on its own, it's not too shiny. So far, it's looking good uh, with the powder. Uh, even on this side, I don't see it looking cakey or heavy. So I'm going to wear it for the rest of my day and see how it performs. We'll have to see if it's worth the price tag. So yeah, I'll see you all at the end of my day. Hey guys, I'm back. It's currently... Where is my phone? Kartik! No phone! Okay, okay. Hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, it's currently 8... 40 p.m. I think I finished applying the concealer around 12 o'clock. Uh, so it's been a little over eight hours, actually almost nine hours since I've had this concealer on. So I think it's a good concealer, but I don't think it's worth the money. Like, you know, I definitely don't prefer this one over my Tarte Shape Tape or the Too Faced one. And even the CoverGirl new concealer that they came out with, the True Blend one, that is also really good from the drugstore. It gives, you know, just as uh, amount of coverage as this one gives and it's way more affordable. This one you pay like what? 34 freaking dollars and you get only point of fluid ounce. So whereas Tarte Shape Tape, I just looked it up on the package. I don't remember. I'm not really good, that good with numbers. So I just looked it up. The Tarte Shape Tape, you get 0.33 fluid ounce and the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer, you get a 0.5 fluid ounce. I mean, like when they both work just as good as this one, why do I have to go and pay $34, whereas the Tarte Shape Tape is $27 and the Too Faced one is $29. So you do the math, you're getting way less product uh, for the amount of money you're paying. Uh, so I definitely don't think this is worth it. I mean, it's a good concealer. Like my problem with that is that this is not the first time I'm trying it out. I have been testing it for the past week or so. It holds really well for spot concealing, but not as good as my Tarte Shape Tip. Uh, that works wonders for spot concealing. And you know, if you have smoother under eyes, if you don't have like any dry patches or any dryness underneath the eyes, this will work really well. It will stay on for the whole day. But if you have any dryness going on there, this will look very creepy and will exaggerate all of your lines. Uh, you know, that's one thing that I don't like about this concealer. Uh, today, my under eyes are like really good. They're in a good shape. They're hydrated and all. So today it performed really well and I used my beauty blender. But whenever I try to blend it out with my fingers or, you know, whenever I have like little dryness going on underneath my eyes, this just didn't work. Tarte Shape is also a little bit drying, but not as drying as this one. That's what I feel like. Uh, so I personally am not a big fan of this concealer, especially for the price you're paying. I don't think this is worth it. Uh, for some reason, I've never had any good luck with Hourglass base products. I don't like their stick foundation even, which was really hyped about. I don't like the liquid foundation. That is, whoa, I just don't like it. 
and even this concealer i don't think it's worth the money um i don't want to sound too negative today it actually performed really well uh, it is still covering my darkness um uh, and it's not looking cakey or heavy maybe it's looking a little bit drying but that's not too bad i've had it on for like what 9 hours so it's okay it's okay i can deal with that but you know the other days when i tried it on it didn't perform that well on my skin before i forget uh, on my lips i'm wearing the powder puff lippy uh this is in the shade squad goals i forgot how much i love this color it was just sitting in the drawer but i just wanted a color that would match my top and here it is so that completes this video uh if you found it helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you all in my next one bye